My name is Mohamed Sarraj and I am a clinical director of non-invasive cardiology and echocardiography lab at NYU Langone Health. The most common conditions that we treat are leakage of the mitral valve called the mitral regurgitation, narrowing of the aortic valve called the aortic stenosis, but also different holes in the heart called atrial septal defect or ventricular septal defect, as well as abnormalities related to abnormal heartbeat called atrial fibrillation. So we provide uh, real-time 3D images, lifelike images of the heart that allow my colleague interventionalist to replace or repair part of the heart uh, using specially designed devices that are passed into the body through an artery or a vein, um, avoiding the need for open heart surgery. We are truly in the forefront of both the diagnosis and repair of conditions. We were the first in the world to replace native mitral valve percutaneously. What that means, we were able to implant a particular form of a prosthesis, just going through a vein and then, then inside the heart, meaning the patient's own valve was replaced with the prosthetic valve through the catheter. Recently, I had a patient who was 101 years old and he underwent one of these procedures. And two days later, he left the hospital walking. And it just can be only miracle, anything what I had in medical school, that somebody will have a prolonged recovery, possibly intensive care unit, or rehab facility. And now, this patient who underwent percutaneous aortic valve replacement was walking within two days. What else? That's magic.